As high school comes to an end, I realize I became who I became because of the experience of high school and everything that has been going around. I think that the major three influential people in your life will be your teachers, your friends, and of course, your family. Um, I get I see in the beginning of high school, I remember being like pushed looking for the with a great perhaps all around me but not realizing like Alaska said that the great perhaps is actually those little moments that we create with our friends teachers and family those little moments we have to realize that that we you could have been somewhere else but we're here you know um, I remember in the beginning of this freshman year coming into a high school and realizing oh my god I'm so lost I don't know what path to take and I made great people, great friends, like Nayeli, Nolan, and of course a bunch of other friends that we don't talk to no more, but thanks to them, I learned the true meaning of friendship. To the teachers that really influenced me was my teachers from ROTC, because they've always been there for us, and they showed us new things, like, oh, you need to trust your people around you, trust just people who don't even who do, you don't even know because those people could actually be the greatest influence on your life. I remember my teacher always telling me, um, it's like, hey, Valdez, get yourself straightened up. Like seriously, you're doing shit today. Like get it up. You you do better than this, you know. Um, the biggest things that like they said to me was like, hey Valdez, you know, the only thing that stands between you and your future is you and yourself. Don't let other people come and try to ruin your future for you. And for sure, they always encouraged me to follow my dream, which was basically becoming a Marine, you know? And I appreciate every single teacher for that. For never telling us, like, no, you can't do that. You you can do whatever you want, as they say. For my family, my family d- doesn't only include family from blood. My family includes my friends, my sister, my ROTC people, because... Obviously, we became family in those four years. A little memories we made, I remember. Colonel saying, do what's right even when no one is looking. Yeah, I still follow that, because that's true. Everything you do stands out to everybody. You always have to do what you, what you believe it's right. Even when you think that everything's falling apart, do what's right. Uh, did I say Stewart was one of my favorite teachers too who influenced me and telling me like oh you have your <laughs> you have everything in your hands you know you, it's your decision to do what you want to do and you decide where you want to go ahead in life um every path I take has taught me so many new things like like you could get here or you could stop yourself and just don't push yourself no more you know there's like <laughs> I mean, education has been a great part too for this because I learned that without education, you can't go nowhere in the world. You have to understand that, that you have to know how to go around the world and how to talk to people and how to learn how to live with it. And well, I'm grateful for all those moments in life, for my teachers, my family, and the people all around me. Because they had taught me valuable lessons that I shouldn't give up on myself and I shouldn't be giving up on my hopes and dreams. That I should always push myself to do what I want to do. And to not let no one tell me that it's impossible to do. Because the only thing that it's impossible to do is failing yourself. Failing yourself should be an impossible thing to do. And, well, I'm going to say I'm going to miss this year's, (laughs) I miss this four years being here and... I hope you guys enjoyed this video.